All right, guys. I went back to TGE and got some more hair. This hair is beautiful. I want y'all to see. I'm going to wet it down. And uh, I guess I need to do a commercial with this hair. And yes, <laughs> I spent plenty of money on it again. But I went back to the same place. The, um, I like whoever manufactured this hair for TGE. They do an excellent, excellent, excellent job. The hair is the bomb. All right, guys. My video in five, four, three. All right, hi, guys. How y'all living? listening to <laughs> how y'all living out there how y'all doing guys i hope everybody's having a blessed day a blessed year i'm freestyling freestyling i left my notes at home that i wanted to talk about right quick been trying to get this damn door fixed in mine oh my god ain't that it's always something but I haven't had a chance to come on and say hello to you guys and how y'all living out there. This eyelash is on a mission. How y'all living, guys? I'm just checking in. I wanted to say, um, I guess something had came out with Tamar and Vince. Um, they're walking hand in hand from LAX, trying to make like everything is okay. Y'all love this hair. The hair quality. This hair is the bomb, okay? Yeah, I know I didn't like it in, in the beginning. But the hair quality is really, really nice. You wet this hair and it is the bomb. But uh, we seen Tamar and Vince walking together hand in hand. And I think he was holding on to that hand. <laughs> that had the issue. And uh, no, I do not condone domestic violence. And no, I am not laughing at domestic violence. Y'all get that right. If you're in a relationship and it has went south or is fighting, uh-uh, get out of it. Quick, fast, and in a hurry. You shouldn't be there. But, um, y'all loving hip-hop Hollywood. Since I'm on a mission to, uh, drive out here to go and, uh, pick up some more hair. I say I might as well do a chit chat on Love and Hip Hop Hollywood. I don't know if that's my screen, but um, I'm just gonna freestyle. Basically, Masika is talking about Fetty Wap and her and her baby daddy and somebody. The Breakfast Club said she used that for a storyline to come back on Love and Hip Hop Hollywood. And she is talking about her getting uh, pregnant. So, you know, Masika, I got my side eye on you, boo. I got my side eye on you. So her and the girls were sitting up chit-chatting, talking about um, her being pregnant. Because on the when they started taping Love & Hip Hop, people were saying they seen her walking around with cameras. They were taping uh, Love & Hip Hop Hollywood. So was she doing all that for the cameras? I guess she was. Was she faking with Fetty Wap and him saying that he wasn't the baby daddy? I don't know. We don't know. Was she doing it all for the camera? So anyway, um, her Nia and um, who was it? Moni's crazy ass Nia and Masika sitting there chit chatting, and that goddamn Moni's is having an issue with um. Ray J's baby, baby mama, <laughs> Princess Love. Basically, um, Princess Love did an interview with Jason Lee. And uh, if you guys haven't checked out Hollywood Unlock, go over there and check out Hollywood Unlock. It's really good. He's been interviewing um, some nice people. Floyd Mayweather. Um, Melissa Ford is over there on the show with him. He's had Masika. He's had... Um, did he have Masika? 
Yeah, I don't know. No, I don't know who he done had over that interview, but I know he had Floyd Mayweather and I think he had Monique. But uh, Princess Love was over there. He said, What is it something do you want to say? And he said, Yeah, let that bitch know I'm coming for her. So make a. Uh, Make it very short, sweet, and simple. Princess Love wanted Monique to know that she gonna get her ass for going around saying that she fucked Ray J. And uh, Tierra Marie, even when she met up with Prince with Monique, she's sitting there like, "Why is you trying to make this a storyline? Hell, we all done fucked him. If anybody should be mad that he getting married and moving on, it should be me and not Monique. But Monique looks like she just fishing for a story, if you ask me, because uh. I don't think that shit is believable with her and Fizz. But anyway, we had at the um, Ray J and them did some kind of little party. And um, I don't know if it was an engagement party or whatever. And he had the prenup in his hand. Sonya wanted him to sign the prenup. And Brandy and everybody was there. And he was like, fuck this shit. He ripped it up. He said, I'm not signing a prenup. And Brandy and uh, Sonya, the mama, was sitting there looking at this nigga like, is you all right? Without a prenup, you ain't got nothing, okay? Because Princess Love is saying that she wasn't going to marry him if he wanted the prenup. But uh, Brandy made the statement, oh, I see love wins when he ripped up the prenup. And we were all sitting there like, <laughs> normally the person who don't want the prenup is the one ain't got no money. I'm just saying, I hope I ain't never in that situation because y'all gonna make me eat my motherfucking words. But it seemed like those are normally the people that don't want the prenup. So anyway, Miss um, Princess asked Brandy to be her uh, maid of honor. And I guess she ain't got no friends. So, you know, Brandy accepts because, you know, they like sisters, they like family, they say. And um, he rips up the prenup. I see, um, what's that name? That boy named Safari, Stuntman, whatever his name is. He's going to be uh, one of Ray J's best man. And they've been friends supposedly for a long time. And um, that old crazy one over there, the game. Anyway, Ray J meets with... Um, soldier boy he got this idea some bikes they look like um, things you kick and go and he said Ray J Ray J said soldier boy is about business and he want him to venture out with him on this business deal and Max and that little Brandy I guess he came in the house with a stack of money supposedly 27 G's all in fives he gave to little mama and uh <laughs> Forrest Ross called the mini teeth Max okay she gave Max Max gave <laughs> yo my mind is on something else and I should not be even trying to talk about this because I am up to no fucking good but anyway Max gave Brandy some money to put up for the baby so when he get older he have a college fund 27 G's and uh, it's all the fives. They throw the money up and play with it. But we find out that Brandy don't use the money for his college. She goes and uh, open up her online boutique. She opens up a real store. Shonda, Willie, and Kaisha. This was the best part of the show. Mona, motherfucking Scott, brought in a side piece of Willie. And, uh... <laughs> Shonda and uh, she when it went off last week showed this motherfucker she, she went and showed the wife she had text messages where this motherfucker had been contacting her and yes I think he's still been contacting her and make a long story short these two meet up it don't go good the first time and she let him know that he told her this that and the other and she confronts Willie and Willie want to say yes I'm sorry but you know I really didn't do all that but you, okay we know he guilty so then Miss Shonda wants Willie to meet up with her and Kaisha and he like oh okay I'm gonna do it only cause I love you but basically he wanna let her know that he's guilty in other words so they all meet up together this shit don't go right 
Miss Shonda is going good with everything until Max asks, um, why not Max? Willie. Willie asked Kaisha. That was 10 years ago. Bitch, why are you here now? Because I still love you. She claimed she had been pregnant by his ass and everything. And when she said she still love him, that's when Shonda crawled her motherfucking ass across that table. And she tried to knock that bitch the fuck out. And I was living for it, Mona. They did not get close to the... They didn't get her fast enough because she popped that bitch in her head. And I was like, yeah, 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 yeah. And I was like, go Mona, go Mona, hey, hey, go Mona. Yeah, I like the ratchet. Yes, I do. But you guys, I see on there where Amber Rose supposedly off of love and hip hop Hollywood. Enough of that bullshit. Amber Rose is supposed to be joining Dance with the Stars. And uh, I don't know how she gonna dance with the stars. I just want to see you strip. That's about the only thing we're going to be able to see her do. Uh, come on, traffic. What's going on? I got things to do. I got people to see. Places to go. Anyway, Amber Rose will be joining with Dancing with the Stars. And she done started her own company also. And I'm like, oh, okay. And she signed some girl off of uh, the internet as her first client. So I'm like, okay, we gonna see how this go. Nick Cannon, he done went back to school. Okay, and somebody came up under there and said, <laughs> I hope you don't join the uh, marching band. He done went to college, y'all. But uh, y'all, that's basically all I got to talk about. This is basically part of Love and Hip Hop Hollywood. All the fuck shit that's been going on, Tamar. And uh, Tamar, we praying for you. You know, I don't know what's going on with you and Vince. Uh, they had put the phone call online and a lot of people were saying that that's fake. I don't think it's fake, you guys. I do not think that shit is fake. Bullshit ain't nothing. Wherever there's smoke, there's fire. Something is going on with Tamar and Vince and I believe he did get mad because she fired his ass and he loped the fuck up. I don't know if he bit her finger or whatever, whatnot. She had to have hit had it in his face doing this and he bit that motherfucker that's all i can tell you you guys y'all have a lucky day and thanks for hanging out with me oh it's an accident and y'all have a lucky day okay guys bye-bye you guys i know there was one more thing i wanted to tell you guys i was sitting there and i was reading and they were saying something about ed hartwell the one that's married to rudy or going through the divorce has another young lady pregnant i wonder is it the girl that he was messing with before he started messing with miss uh keisha knight pulling so there's supposed to be another young lady pregnant by mr ed hartwell lisa wood where you at boo boo do you know you are not the only one all right you see me dude Yes, they said there is another young lady supposed to be pregnant by Ed Hartwell. You ain't here for me because I ain't the one to gossip. <laughs> Alright guys, bye-bye.